How's it going, guys? It is 2.56 a.m., 15th of May here in Japan. We have a past level to medium difficulty question for step one pathology, internal family medicine 2CK, a nearly identical question. It shows up on one of the free 120 assessments for step one, I believe it is. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group channel down below. Now start the clip. 45 year old man, six week history, muscle weakness, fatigue, five year history, hypertension, treated with thiazide, hydrochlorothiazide. He drinks six beers each evening. Blood pressure 110 over 65 when seated, 105 over 60 when standing. Laboratory studies show hemoglobin 12 grams per deciliter should be 13 to 17.5 in males and non menstruating women, 12 to 17.5. Menstruating women, potassium low, 3.3, should be 3.5 to 5. Glucose, normal. Fasting, presumably, at 97, should be 72 to 99 fasting. 100 to 125 fasting is pre-diabetic. Two fastings, 126 or greater is diabetic. Any one random glucose, 200 or greater is diabetic. HbA1c, 6.5 or greater diabetic. Which of the following is most likely explanation with patient's findings? Let's just whip to the answer choice here. Choice A, alcohol, wrong fucking answer. So obviously very generic in terms of what we could latch on to here. Yes, patient drinks way too much, six beers per evening. Men should not drink greater than two alcoholic drinks per day. Women, one per day as per guidelines. Now, if we want to conjecture how alcohol could relate to the patient's presentation in some regard, we could potentially look at the hemoglobin being ever so slightly low. So alcohol can cause a non-megaloblastic macrocytic anemia, okay? where normal MCV 80 to 100, you need not have B12 or B9 deficiency. I said non-megaloblastic, okay? So alcohol is a cause of high MCV. It can cause the bone marrow to produce higher RBCs. Sounds a little bit weird. You have to know it. it shows up on USMLA. Non-megaloblastic means you're not going to have hypersegmented neutrophils, okay? Now, alcohol can also cause sideroblastic anemia, just defect in heme synthesis, knocks out delta ALA synthase, which can result in normal or slightly increased uh, ferritin and iron, as well as ringed sideroblasts, which will be when you have iron granule accumulation around uh, the nuclei and erythroblasts, which are premature RBCs, and they stain blue with Prussian blue staining. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, constant and wrong fucking answer. First of all, dostrum, secreting tumor of the zona glomerulosa of the adrenal cortex. Now, obviously, potassium's low here, but we wouldn't have low normal blood pressures. So in Kahn syndrome, if anything, we'd expect elevated blood pressures. But our classic derangement would be increased serum sodium, low serum potassium, high bicarbonate, high pH, but our blood pressures uh, would be elevated or high normal. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, dehydration, wrong fucking answer. So in this case, there's just two points I can make here. One, when we look at the low hemoglobin, if we want to say why does this patient's presentation converge on dehydration, if anything, we would expect hemoconcentration Okay, not hemodilution, where hemoglobin maybe could be at the upper end of normal. Okay, 16, 17, right? Uh, the other point is the link to orthostasis here, choice E, also the wrong fucking answer, where if dehydration is going to explain our blood pressures, right? So if you say, well, the blood pressures are a little bit low, aren't they? They're not low. They're fine. But if we wanted to say dehydration is related to the blood pressures here, if anything, we'd be talking about orthostasis. Now, as I said, this is wrong because the definition of orthostasis is going to be a drop in systolic blood pressure greater than 20, diastolic greater than 10, when you go from supine to standing or from seated to standing. And I talk about this in my high yield cardio PDF, which by all means, I'll, I'll pin in one of the comments below. But dehydration alone doesn't explain the presentation, also wouldn't explain the low potassium here. And the orthostasis, as I just fucking said, our change in blood pressure from seated to standing uh, doesn't fit the criteria. Okay. Now our correct answer, OMG medication adverse effect is as a result of the hydrochlorothiazide. Now you need to know that loops and thiazides both cause hypokalemia. They're potassium wasting diuretics and US only likes giving you muscle weakness. It's very nonspecific, but they like throwing this into questions. 
they especially questions that are more nebulous they don't even mention the potassium and you're trying to figure out what's going on if they say muscle weakness it's just as per my observation on mbme questions this is frequent for this is common in uh, potassium derangement okay so loops are easier to think about because they of course directly uh, inhibit potassium reabsorption in the thick ascending limb with sodium and two chloride uh, thiazides are going to block a sodium a sodium chloride symporter in the early DCT on the optical membrane, and that drop in fluid status is going to cause RAS to kick up to compensate, leading to distal potassium secretion at the cortical collecting duct. Now, that's why our potassium is low here, not dramatic. You say, well, if RAS is kicked up, and that's the mechanism for the potassium secretion, why uh, aren't the blood pressures elevated? It's because you need not see that. Okay, we don't have an overt hyperaldosteronism per se. It's just RAS is kicked up above its theoretical baseline, and we just merely have excessive kaliuresis. Okay, you want to sound hubristic, sophisticated, supercilious, just throw in some big words like kaliuresis, which just means excessive uh, potassium uh, in the urine. Okay, increased micturation of potassium. Orthostasis, as I already said. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. I feel like my stuff. Subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.